What's up, YouTube? I just thought I'd do a quick video here um, to tell you a couple things. Um, one is that I came out to my dad and my aunt. I just sent them emails again because I'm chicken shit. Well, not really because I'm chicken shit, but maybe partially because of that, but partially also because I'm not extremely close to them and um, I thought that'd be a good idea. But actually, I I used email for everybody. I just usually gave them more of a heads up that I was sending them something and expected that we might have to talk about it at some point. But uh, I told my dad about, I think, almost two weeks ago, ten days ago, something like that, and he has said nothing. Um, and uh, I don't know, my sister tells me that he has some sort of like concern about medical consequences because he has medical training, but I don't know. So we're not extremely close, and I don't know what he's thinking, um, but because we're not so close, he might be more surprised, maybe, than other people in the family. I don't know. But then I also told my aunt, his sister, who is very much of a, like, you know, generous person, social person, who I don't see that often, but, like, I know that she really cares about me, and I really care about her, and, I, you know, she's super evangelical, just like the rest of both sides of my family, um, so I don't expect that she kind of understands or supports all those things, but her initial reaction was immediate, and it was very supportive. I don't know what that actually means, like, for what she thinks, but the fact that she's saying that does, you know, mean something. And I think maybe she's going to force my mom to have to talk about this in some way, because from what I've heard from my sisters, my mom's been very hesitant to talk about it, and I think my sisters have been very hesitant to talk to her about it. So my aunt is just very direct about all those kinds of things, and even though I asked her in the email to, you know, respect everybody in the family's process, and if they didn't want to talk about it, you know, not to make them talk about it, but she just immediately called my mom, and I know this because after I got my aunt's response, I messaged my mom and said, just a heads up, I told my aunt. Anyway. You're probably thinking how odd that my aunt, who's my dad's sister, would immediately call my mother when my parents are divorced, but, you know, my family's weird and that's what we do. So, I'm just relieved that those things are over, and even though that I know that they're not really over because I'm going to have to talk to my dad at some point, or he's probably going to have some sort of response at some point, and even though I, I probably am going to, my aunt is going to be direct with me and ask me a bunch of questions. Like, I just feel relieved that that part is over. So there's really the only other people that I feel like I need to tell um, would be this one set of cousins. And I could just, you know, announce something on Facebook. Uh, and that, because that's usually how, you know, we keep in contact. Um, so really I'm kind of just like free now to say or do whatever I want. And that feels really good. So that's one. Um other thing that I wanted to mention was bathrooms. Something happened this past week um, at the school that I work at. Uh, they do have one gender neutral restroom in the building, one, but to get there is kind of inconvenient. Also, there's several like doorways that you have to go through to get in there, and I just kind of am intimidated by it and don't like to use it. But, um, so I, I've mentioned before that I primarily use women's restrooms because I just have, like, sanitary concerns. Uh, but I was using a women's restroom, and it's summertime, so the building, you know, is not used as frequently as it is in, during the fall or spring semesters. So um, I used the, the restroom, and there was just kind of this weird traffic jam that happened where you know, one person saw me drawing my hands and then immediately left and then waited outside for me to leave. Uh, and then another person came in and then was kind of like in the middle of backing up um, when I was done. So like I like had to intersect those two people who were like looking at each other disapprovingly or, or confusedly or whatever. Um, and then at the same time there was someone coming out of the stall uh, to go wash their hands who witnessed all that and also seemed very confused. Um, so I just feel like I'm done with women's restroom. Like it was just stressful. There's, 
there's nothing wrong with what those people in the restroom did. I mean, yes, there's something wrong, but like it's just out of pure ignorance, nothing malicious. Um, I think in all of those cases, and and what happens to me, you know, 95% of the time, where I I feel uncomfortable and they feel uncomfortable. The reason is because they think they've gone into the wrong place. So that's usually it. They just are concerned that they have made a mistake, and it causes all sorts of awkwardness. And and you know, when I first began having, well, I guess I've kind of always had the problem since I've had short hair anyway. Always had the problem of people thinking that I'm male in the women's restroom, and then if there's any questioning, sometimes I'll like put their mind at ease, and I'm like, yes, this is the women's restroom, but now that my voice has changed, I feel uncomfortable doing that, like I'm just going to make it really uncomfortable for them. So, I just feel like it was very uncomfortable, I guess is the right word. I didn't feel threatened. Um, I don't think they particularly felt threatened, although that one person did not just exit to make sure she'd gone into the right restroom, but, like, stayed out waiting for me to leave, so maybe she felt threatened. Um, so I think I just am going to be done with the women's restroom, and there, anyway, because I work there, and I don't want people to feel alienated there, but also just because I don't want to experience awkward moments at the place where I work. Now, I think other public places, I don't think I'd care as much because, um, you know, it's probably just going to be once and then I leave, you know, and I'm probably not going to be back having to interact with those people again. But at school, you can sometimes see people that you know, and, and I don't know, it just feels awkward. So I feel like I'm done with the women's restroom at the place where I work. And I'm considering what to do in public places too, because, I don't know. I don't know, what would, you know, I feel like what would the majority of people do if they knew nothing about non-binary identities, um, you know, it's just confusing for them. And for some people they feel unsafe, so I just feel a little powerless, I guess, on what to do. I'm not going to like sit there and do a non-binary training camp in the bathroom um, and talk to them about my need for sanitary conditions, so that's the situation with bathrooms, I guess, so I kind of feel sad because I feel like um, these are my standards, this is what I would prefer, but I can't control how other people are going to react and other people react that way, and so I have a choice on how I want to react to their reactions, and I would prefer not to ha deal with their reactions, so if that means trying to use other restaurants, I guess that's what I have to do. Okay, so this video is turning a little bit long. So there was the yay, I'm done coming out to people mostly, and then the boo, I can't use the women's restroom anymore and have to deal with alternative situations. But, you know, I guess that's good. I'm passing as, as male, which is not really a goal of mine, but I have to admit I kind of like it um, in other circumstances besides the bathroom. So I guess that's relieving. Um, another update is Whenever people have a pronoun conversation with me now, I'm telling them to use they. I'm not necessarily requesting it out of the blue, but I feel like I'm probably moving in that direction. So when school starts, I'll probably tell my students to use they and them. So, to you on YouTube who might ever speak about me, I would prefer that you use they or them. Thank you. But again, like it's not a huge concern for me now. Um, the name thing, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for being in here with me. I hope you all are having a good summer. Bye.